Assalamu alaikum, peace be on you. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the Compassionate, the Merciful. Um, okay, my video is on the fear of loneliness and how to combat it, and also peer pressure, which causes us to feel, you know, lonely. And because of loneliness, we tend to maybe incline to go towards the mass audience or mass population who are in our vicinity to basically go against what we want to do in terms of our deen and other things okay bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim so first of all I just want to say number one okay fear of loneliness fear of loneliness okay what does the Quran state about this? Now, as Muslims, the Quran clearly states that through remembrance of Allah, hearts find rest. And that is 100% true because, quite frankly, when we pass away, we are going to go to Allah. Okay, we are going to go in purgatory or barzakh and we are going to wait until Judgment Day and then... On Judgment Day, we're going to be judged. So until then, we are going to be lonely. So quite frankly, we need to kind of embrace loneliness in a way. So try not to, whenever you're thinking, whenever you are lonely and there's no one there or, you know, you're completely, you know, you know, nobody wants to know you or anything like that. Remember, you know, you're going to go to your creator. So focus on Allah, maybe do some zikr, maybe pray some nafils or read some you know the Quran, because through that you you know your heart will find rest. But remember, you know we are social animals, so we need to um, you know communicate with people. So try not to be too lonely. But if a situation arises, remember remembrance of Allah will get you closer to yourself, really Cl closer to Allah, and. Um, that that's what number one I would recommend. As well as that, you know, like I said, we are social uh, creatures, so try to find, find, you know, go try to go, why why you know did Prophet Rasulullah you know say that we should go go praying in uh, the mosque etc. It's probably um, a good way to communicate with other people. You know what I mean. So uh, obviously, if there's no mosques around you, try to pray at home or try to find Muslims who. You know, know the dean and try to be with them as much as you can, quite frankly. And um, remember one thing, you know, this whole loneliness is not going to be forever. It's a temporary thing. Now, you know, we all we are going to pass away. Now, don't start thinking, oh, wait a minute. You know what? You're right. I can, you know, it is temporary. Maybe I should commit suicide or, or anything like that. No, God forbid. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Through uh, In Islam, it's forbidden. To commit suicide, uh, so don't ever do that. Um, don't ever do that. Remember one thing: life is a test. Okay, so this life, if for no apparent reason you are on your own and you're finding it difficult mentally, etc., is a horrible situation. You know what? You need to remember Allah and remember that this life is a test. Sure, try to find, like I said. Places like mosques, you know, Muslim communities to, um, uh, speak to people, you know, but don't try to do the opposite. Okay. Okay. Now in terms of peer pressure, uh, what I would say is, okay, now this is really comes down to maybe youngsters out there or just in general. You know, you might be in an in an environment where you know you are invited to go out, drinking alcohol, smoking, doing drugs, etc., 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 etc. Now, if you are invited to do all that and you continuously say no, or you may feel as though you know what, if I don't go, then I'm going to be lonely. Um. It's a tough situation. It really is a tough situation because you don't want to be lonely all, all the time. So maybe you might want to go just for the sake of, 
you know, um, just seeing what is up, you know, um, you know, like just to kind of be social. I don't, you know, I'm not encouraging that at all, but I'm not judging that as well of anybody who is willing to do that. What I would say is that you really need to look at the situation and realize that what what are you getting from this situation? Is it really worth it? You know what I mean? Is is this whole situation really worth your time and day? Um, you know, what are you getting? You may sure you may get temporary temporary friends who will be accepting, but the reality is they're only accepting because you they you you are following what they are doing. Um, but if they are your real friends, they will accept you for who you are and what you believe. They will accept the fact that, you know, you don't want to go out and drink alcohol or do something like that, etc. If they are your true friends, but if they're not, then you know what? You need to kind of, you know, then you know your answer, really. You really know your answer. They're not, you know, they're not there for you uh, in that regard. And what's more important, is it Allah or them? Now, we all know that we're going to go to our Creator, so it's obviously Allah. And that is the main intention that we should always have whenever we're doing anything. So even when you're feeling lonely and you're thinking of peer pressure, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to do anything, you know, you don't want to do the bad things or anything like that. And you're just thinking, you know what, man, I'll go and try to join. Just, I don't know. I don't want to feel lost. You know, think, remember, what are you gaining from this? In the end of, at the end of the day, if you, you know, if they're going out and drinking and you're, you don't want, and if you're encouraged to drink and you're thinking, you know what, should I drink? Am I going to really gain anything from this? You're going to get a bad liver. Alcohol is not good for us. Sure, they say moderations, but reality, what is moderation? Some, one person's moderation is another person's, uh, uh, you know, excess. So, reality is, um, what is your, mod number one, what is your moderation? But is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? And the reality is, if you, you know, you, you believe in Allah, the last day and that is your main intention you need to focus on that okay so hopefully that has helped remember at the end of the day if you're lonely it happen it happens remember through remembrance of allah hearts find rest that's it from me assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh please tell me as well anybody can give me any advice or you know, anything that you want to hear or see on my channel, any videos, any specific type of things that you want me to talk about, let me know. I want the da'wah to grow from from myself, you know what I mean? I want to, basically, I want to see, see I'm making an impact, you know what I mean? I do want to see that. If I if I don't, I, I will feel as though that's obviously, you know, what what's the point in, a, in one regard? But the reality is... I'm trying to do this so that people will, um, you know, it will, you know, it will help um, and it will help uh, you get close to Allah. That's what I want. Okay, and yeah, obviously I want the good deeds. That's why I'm doing this. So, Assalamu Alaikum. Peace be on you. Assalamu Alaikum.